Hello and welcome to Movie Magic Scheduling Tips and Tricks. I'm your host Stephen Kinchelik. In this video, I'll be going over element linking and more specifically, how to set up element linking, the different types of links that you can set up, and then also retroactive linking, which is brand new to the Movie Magic Scheduling 5.2 release. So let me show you how to set those up. So here I am on the breakdown sheet. And I'm going to go ahead and open the Element Linking Manager by clicking on the Element Linking button. Or you can hit Command L or Control L on Windows. And we've had Element Linking in scheduling for a while, but what's new is the retroactive linking, which I'll show you in a second. First, let's set up uh, a link. So to do that, what you do is you select your category, and it has all your categories in here. And I'm going to leave it with cast members. Then you set up the element that you want to set as your anchor. And I'm just going to go ahead and leave it with George. So I hit the Create Anchor button, and it lists the anchor down here. And this is the element that's going to have all the links attached to it. So that's your anchor. And you can rename it if you want. Just double click in this uh, anchor name area, and you can rename that to give it a more suitable name if you wish. I'm going to leave it alone. And with that selected, make sure always make sure it's selected, especially if you have a bunch of anchors over here. Make sure you have the proper one selected. And over here is where you will attach the links to it. So for George, let's go ahead and say that every time he's on screen, we are going to need the wardrobe of... Scroll down here. George's coat. And we can add that element. And you can then add multiple elements, such as hat. So he always has his hat and his coat with him. And you can add other things like you know props, uh, if there's a specific uh, vehicle or um, you know set dressing that's always there. You can add those elements that can be linked too. With that all set up, going forward, whenever you add George, those elements will uh, be added to the breakdown sheet also. And there's different ones that you can set up. So it doesn't have to be just like a cast member. Uh, one of the more powerful things that you can do is say, whenever I'm on a specific set, and I can create that uh, anchor of, let's say I'm, whenever I'm in Bailey Park, create anchor, and with that one selected, I'm going to need background actors. So I'm always going to need uh, 20 townspeople whenever I'm in the park. So I add that element. And this is a great way to remind yourself, whenever I go here, I'm going to need this. And you can do it with special equipment, um, uh, special crew that's needed. You know, If you have those categories and elements set up, you can link those to sets, locations. So that can be really powerful. Now, what's new to uh, Movie Magic Scheduling 5.2 is if you highlight one of these anchors, you can apply them to all sheets, meaning if you've already gone through your schedule and you said, ah, you know what, I need all these elements whenever this character is on uh, on the scene, in the scene, you can say apply to all sheets. And it gives you a little quick update here. This will be applied to 104 breakdown sheets where George is already added. Now there's no undo for this, so make sure you're okay with this going forward. And you click OK and the, all the breakdown sheets, I'm going to go ahead and close this. All the breakdown sheets where we have George, we have George's ho uh, coat and George's hat added. Now let me go back into the Element Linking Manager and I just wanted to mention that um, if I hadn't applied to the sheets, all I have to do is close this window and everything's set up. You don't have to hit OK or save or anything. And also there's a link over here to go into the preferences for element linking. And what the preferences are is over down in here. You can say insert linked elements automatically after confirmation or never. So even though you have things set up, you can set it to never to, to kind of turn off element linking for a while. And then you can also remove the linked elements. Uh, so whenever you remove the anchor, it can remove the link elements never after confirmation or automatically. So those are some of the preferences you can set up. If you have any feedback for us, you can send that feedback to productfeedback at entertainmentpartners.com. Also, be sure to check entertainmentpartners.com and our community page to find ways to follow us on our social networks. Thanks for watching.